though indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has accused the Department of State Service, DSS, for torturing its leader, Nandi Kano, since he was arrested and detained last Tuesday. IPOP spokesman, Ima Powerful, warned that the separatist group would cripple Nigeria if any harm befell Kano while in the custody of the secret police. In a statement, Powerful stated that the Nigerian government was provoking the secessionist group. Powerful said, "We declare without equivocations, pardon, that the Nigerian government should not take our calmness for granted. Should anything untoward happen to our leader while in detention, or even after, we will totally cripple Nigeria." and its government. An intelligence unit and following up events including the torture being melted out to him since his adoption. The world should see how the wicked Nigerian government is provoking us. The Nigerian government had in connection with in foreign security agencies, we arrested Kanu and repatriated him to Nigeria to continue his trial. Kano was brought before Justice Binta Onyako, led Federal High Court in Abuja to continue his trial, bordering the treason. Though the Nigerian government is silent on the country the Apple leader was arrested from, his family members claimed that Kano was nabbed in Kenya. What is your thought about this? So many things have been said about the arrest of Nandi Kano. Hardly can we even ascertain the you know, real country of which he has been arrested. Some people said he was arrested somewhere in African country. Some people said he was arrested in Kenya. Some have even said he was arrested you know, in the UK. What is your thought about this? But with the look of things, it is obvious that he was not arrested in UK. What is your thought about this? I would like you to share your thoughts with us on what has been said. I would like you to share your own point of view concerning the present situation. According to the news, we have had the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who have as, you know, accused the Department of State Service, DSS, for torturing its leader, Nandi Kanu, since he was arrested and detained last Tuesday. I would like you to share your own point of view with us on this about the comment section. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in this country. Linda Chinasa reacted to this and said, That is not the solution. Let Mazena Dekano's lawyer get to work immediately. Since his health is deteriorating, at least he can be going for the trials from his hometown or elsewhere other than the DSS cell. It is only a living person that can appear before a judge. What is your thought about this? We have heard what Linda Chinas have said that detaining Enandi Kano is not the solution to this present situation. Let Mazinam Kano's lawyer get into action immediately. We know that Enandi Kano's health is deteriorating. Now, since his health is deteriorating, at least they should grant him some free movement of allowing him coming from the trial, you know, for the trial from his hometown. He should be allowed to go to his hometown. And anytime he's coming for the trial, he will come from his hometown or somewhere else that is, you know, other than the DSS cell. If the DSS cell is not, you know, convenient for him, let him get another place to be, you know, staying until he's been, you know, accused or judge guilty about all these allegations that has been you know laid against him it is only a living person that can appear before a judge what is your thought about what linda chinas have said do you think chinas have really spoken well about this considering the health status of mazinam the canon because it is only where he's alive he can continue the trial what is your reaction to this well let's move further and see what other people have felt and their reaction to this that has been said. Dotman also reacted to this and said, 
Nigeria has already failed as a country and the only viable solution to Nigerians' problem is to divide Nigeria now to save lives. Biafra Nation, Odudua Nation, Refrain now, Free Inamdekanu now. That is what Dotman have said. What is your reaction to what Dotman have said? That Nigeria is already a failed country and it is obvious to everyone in Nigeria. Even children can, I think, you know, they can testify to the present situation of things in Nigeria. And the only viable, you know, solution, according to Dotman, to Nigeria's problem is to divide Nigeria to save lives. We need to divide Nigeria to save lives. That is the best way to go about the present situation. We want the Afghan nation to stand. We want the Odudua nation to stand. We want referendum to be done in Nigeria. And we also need Inabdekanu to be free. Free Inabdekanu now. That is what that man has said. What is your own reaction to this? You know, we have heard so many times that, you know, forcing us to remain as one Nigeria is a terrorist act. And all we want is, you know, Biafra nation. That is what so many people have been saying that forcing us to remain as one Nigeria, you know, is a terrorist act and against, you know, the fundamental human rights to deny the people's agitation. Now, people have been agitating for referendum. Some people have been agitating for the Biafra nation and also the Odudua nation. They say that is the best way to go about the present situation of things. And now, Nam Dekano has been arrested, you know, is arresting Nam Dekano the best way to go about the present situation. Listening to what the agitations of people are, look into it and know how to go about the present, you know, situation, know how to curb the present insecurity. But in the case of Nigeria, what they want is what will be in favor of them. They will never do anything in favor of the masses. The masses are suffering. Poverty is killing most people. People are, you know, are swimming in unemployment. People can no longer, you know. What is your reaction to this? What is your thought about this? We all know the way we used to enjoy ourselves in our private, you know, homes. We all know the way we used to enjoy ourselves before this administration. And we can compare what we are enjoying now to what we have then. It is obvious to everybody that Nigeria is really suffering and Nigeria is passing through you know, a very tough time. Now, Nnamdekanu is said to be the one behind you know, all these people that have been terrorizing and he has been captured and yet we still have, you know, we still have recorded so many incidents even after he has been arrested. Now, Will you tell me that Nandekanu is the one responsible for all the atrocities going on, you know, in Nigeria? Will you tell me that he is the mastermind behind all this, you know, you know, police station that are being raised, you know, all these police headquarters that are being raised? Will you tell me that Nandekanu is behind all these atrocities? What is your thought about this? With the present situation of things, it is obvious that Nigeria is a failed country. According to what Dotman have said, we would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on this that has been said. We would like you to share your own point of view with us on this. We have heard about what has been said according to the Epoch spokesman that the Nigerian Secret Police are, you know, torturing an Abdekanu, of which has been reported. And we have earlier heard that these people have been warned, the DSS have been warned that nothing must happen to him, he must be treated, you know, fairly. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to what is going on presently in Nigeria? Do you think Nigeria is doing something contrary to what they ought to be doing? People are not happy about this and people are being frustrated about the effort of the Nigerian government to curb the present situation. I would like you to drop your thought and comment about the comment section on the present situation. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.